The untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, it's been a very, very long time, probably way too long since I last did a video about this individual right here, but February 20th, save the date, save the date. Your boy, Miami's very own, South Florida's very own, Harold King Calderon, welterweight prospect, or better yet, I should say, I, I can't even call him a prospect no more because he's really a contender. He's a he's a, he's a fringe contender. He's getting up, up into, the, into that like higher level contender stage. I believe this might be the year that he finally breaks out and gets that big fight. Uh, Harold Calderon returns back to the ring February 20th at the Double Tree Miami Mart Hotel in Miami. Um, he's fighting a TBA to, to, to be announced opponent. We can't. I mean, I don't know who to expect. I don't think it'll be anybody. Too crazy, but he's fighting again February 20th. And this is this is good that Harold is active. You know, last year, unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, uh, he was his his momentum uh, was halted a little bit. You know, he only fought once. But this is a guy that's normally active. Harold Calderon, a very active fighter. You know, this is a guy that, you know, he's he boxed four times in 2019. He boxed another four times in 2018. He boxed about two times, three times in 2017. He's a guy that traditionally speaking boxes three to four times a year because this is a guy that's, he's got no time to waste. He's 33 years old and his resume isn't, you know, sparkling with, 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 with big names or, or names that uh, the average boxing fan would be familiar with. But he's someone that is um, 23 and 0. He's built up a, a little, a good little local buzz for himself. Uh, he's someone that sells tickets, and whether you like it or not, in boxing, boxing, as as many people have said, as many people have said in the past, boxing is a business. Some people would even say that it's a business masqueraded as a sport. And he sells tickets, so he's. I think at some point, this is somebody that will get an opportunity to to prove himself at that next level. This is this is a guy that um. At least for me, just because I, I, I follow Harold on Instagram, I've been, I've been following I've been following Harold for about three years now since I since I first saw him fight a couple years ago, and Harold Calderon, he's someone that is interesting. I might even go as far as to say that he's one of the most inter interesting welterweights in the world because he's a guy that you look at him fight, you know, obviously the opposition isn't the best. Um, but he's now beginning to to fight for like those regional titles. Like now, like like, like this fight that he's that that, it, that it's gonna be in next. Apparently, it's for an IBO international title. And while the IBO isn't a recognized sanctioning buyer like that, once you start competing for those regional belts, that's when you know very soon that you're gonna be um, in a real st step up fight. And I think his step up fight is coming because, like like I said, Harold is 23 and 0. Um, he's a guy that. I mean, I haven't checked the rankings, but at one point in time, he was ranked. You know, I think he was ranked in the top 15 in the WBA at one point, And then he was he had a little bit of inactivity, and they took him out of the WBA World Tour rankings. So um, it's just good that he's staying busy. It's good that he's staying busy. Hopefully, he goes, puts on puts another good performance in, and continues to build that buzz, build that name, because uh, he's someone that I think um, could be someone in 2021 that... Uh, gets the call for for a step up fight, and he might be someone that gate crashes the welterweight division. Now I'm not saying I'm not making any bold proclamations of Harold becoming the best welterweight in the world. I know obviously that's the goal, um, but Harold Calderon is someone that I believe will be a contender, someone to deal with, someone that boxing fans, will, if they don't know him now, they will know him by the end of this year. And this fight right here, February twentieth, this is the first fight in. Um, in the process of getting to where he wants to go. You see, you see what I'm saying? Uh, this is the first fight in this calendar year of getting to where he wants to go. And it's interesting too, because Harold called the one, I, I, had, a, I had a nice conversation with him. Um, what, which fight was it? I think it was, let me see, which fight was it? I had a conversation with Harold called the own in March of 2019, before he fought um, Carlos Winston. No, no, not Carlos. It was, it was Fabian. It was Marcel... Was it more so? I, I can't remember which one, but somewhere in 2019, before one of his fights, before you had a knockout, um, I had a conversation with Harold Calderon, and he was telling me about the about, about the struggles of the boxing game. He was telling me about, um, you know, in his first eight to ten fights, you know, uh, sometimes having to make these fights happen um, and not get paid. Um, taking short money, sometimes paying out of pocket for opponents. You know, a lot of a lot, he, he was really put me on game to a lot, a lot of the stuff they don't tell you. Um, behind the scenes that happens in boxing, 
And this is a guy that I know trains extremely hard. This is a guy that I know takes his craft very seriously. And, you know, unfortunately for him, so far he hasn't gotten that call for the big fight. But he's done a good job over the years of keeping himself busy, of, of, of building a buzz, of, of, of promoting himself on Instagram. And he's, 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 handled, he's handled his situation the right way, in, in my opinion. And then, like, now one, one thing I heard him say in an interview recently was that basically uh, – He's never really had a team behind him, but now apparently he does. Now, I don't know what, what exactly, what kind of changes he made to his team. Um, I'd have to talk to him to really get to the, down to the bottom of that. But, I, but, but I've been seeing him, like, he's been on Instagram posting these pictures with, like, with, with Rick Ross and Chad Ochocinco, and it looks like he's, like, in business meetings and maybe they're playing a little bit of a role in his career. I, I don't know. I, I'd have to ask him about that. But Hale Calderon, February 20th, he's back in action. I love to see him just um, climb those rankings this year and, and really get the opportunity because this is a guy that's been busting his ass for a long, long time. And listen, like, like those of you from South Florida watching this video, if you're, you know, we're six minutes in, you guys know about Harold Calderon. A lot, a lot of the South Florida boxing community knows about Harold Calderon, but the world, the world has not really had the chance to be exposed to Harold Calderon. He's a, he's a good fighter, man. He's good. I don't think he's a world-class uh puncher but he's a guy that has good fundamentals he's a guy that um is patient and he's a guy that you know breaks you down he breaks you down he places his punches well and he's going to be someone to um to be reckoned with reckoned with and uh a competitor in the world weight division so we're, we're going to see what happens to harold calderon but that's my little video on harold calderon you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below february 20th say the date harold calderon returns to the ring for his 2021 boxing debut looking to make up for lost time in 2020, you know, that he lost due to the, the, the Chinese virus. But um, Harold Calderon returns to the ring February 20, 20th. Um, is it 20th or 21st? The 20th here in Miami. So uh, make your plans, you know, make your reservations, you know, bring, bring a girl with you, bring a, bring a date, you know, or take yourself, treat, treat, treat yourself out to a nice night of boxing uh, February 20th here in Miami. And, uh, you know, with that being said, leave your comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniels. Until next time, take care, guys.